Hey everyone, this is unit three, excuse me, unit one, module three, session three homework. Um, as always, make sure you give it a shot before you use the video. And then if you get stuck, use the video to kind of get yourself unstuck. And as soon as you do, pause it and try and work for a little bit, then use the video to check your answers or use the answers that I posted in Google Classroom. All right, here we go. So Juliana, she loves multiplying by eight because of the double, double, double. And we've talked about this a little bit. And when we double something, we multiply it by two. And when we double it again, it's by two and then by two. And so we had this conversation in class that double, 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 remember two times two is four times two is eight. Some of us try to go to six, but um, that's eight. So we're going to replace the eight with a times two times two times two. All right, so it'll be 23 times two times two times two. All right, so we can do some of this in our head or I might just, uh, I'm just gonna take some notes on the side here. So um, eight times, or excuse me, two times 23 or 23 times two. I'm doing this right here now. What is eight times 23 times two is uh, 46. Now if I double that, that's uh, 80 and 12, 40 times two is 80 and six times two is 12. So that's 92. And then 92 times two, if I double that, uh, 90 times two is 180, uh, two times two is four. So I believe it's 184. So I'm gonna write that, it goes 184. Okay. Um, write the ex an expression that shows a different way to solve eight times 23. Hmm. Well, what you want to do, we could um, double in half. So we could do like, um, let me use a different color. Let me see here. We could uh, double the 23, two, and then half the eight. So then that could be four times 46. Could do that. Or we could break apart the 23. Uh, the 23 could become a 20 plus 3. I've done a little bit of this. So this is 1. We could also do um, 8 times 20. And then we're going to add to that. So we have 20 eights, And then we're going to add 3 eights to it for 23 total eights. So this right here, let me just circle it in. Just use this. So there's 1. Or there's 1. Or you could come up with another one. And I just wrote across the next problem. So we'll try this. Okay. Um, Kevin was asked to add six and nine. Sorry, I'm going to erase this so we can see it. And that uh, asked to add six and nine and then multiply by 17, which expression shows Kevin's problem. So he's supposed to add six and nine first. So if he's adding six and nine first, these parentheses right here are telling us that's happening. So B is our answer. Okay. All right. So there's an example on the next one. Um, Elizabeth needed to multiply seven and eight and then subtract 13. So um, the expression, remember no equal sign expression, multiply seven and eight and then subtract 13. And then there's the answer in the, with the equation below it. So let's try this next one. Caden. Caden uh, divided 96 by 12 and multiplied by six. So make sure you've tried this. Try and so some of us are just doing the math. We'll divide 96 by 12, get an answer, and then multiply that by six. We're gonna try and put it all in an expression. So um, divided by, so 96 divided by 12. I could put it, I don't need to put it in parentheses, I don't think, as I get finished with this. I'm just gonna do that because I'm supposed to do that first. And then multiplied by six. But I do not need any parentheses there. All right. Let's try and do this. What do you think? So the equation is going to have the equal sign, so we're going to get the answer. So 96 divided by 12. I'm trying to think of how many times that's going to happen. Um, hmm. I know. I know that 12 times 6 is 72, right? So 12 times 6 equals 72. All right, I need to get to 96, so I have 24 left. So um, 12 times 
2 equals 24. When I add those up, that's 96. So 12 times 8 equals 96. So, uh, oh, so, so it's going to be, when I'm solving this, um, that's 8 times 6. Okay, so I'm going to write in a different color. Um, 96 divided by 12 times 6. So 96 divided by 12 is 8 times 6 is 48. There's my answer. All right. So I did some work in the in the middle of that. Um, but if I just use the original expression, then I put an equal sign, put the answer, then that's my equation. I could have short 8 times 6 is 48, but we don't see the original um, part of it, what Caden was doing. So I kind of left it all there. All right. Let's go to the next page. Evaluate the following expressions. So evaluate means you're basically going to solve them. We're going to make them equations. Um, so we got to figure out what, there's parentheses around the 9 times 7. So 9 times 7 is 63. And then 81 minus 63. I'm just going to use an algorithm. Um, actually, I'm thinking of a way I could do it without the algorithm. I'm going to actually add up. So I'm just going to keep track of some things. If I add 7 to it, that's 70. If I add 10 to that, that's 80. Add 1 to that, that's 81. So I think the answer is 18. So I kind of avoid the algorithm. Okay, 54, I'm on number 5. 54 divided by 6. Um, well, I know that's 9. Okay, and then 9 times uh, 8, 9 times 8 equals 72. All right, uh, we're on the volume. Make sure you pause this and you try it a little bit. Read it. See if it makes sense. Um, struggle with it a little bit. Uh, and then watch the video. If it doesn't make sense, you can always bring questions in. So how many 1 by 1 by 1 cubes are in the following rectangular prisms? So that's just basically um, cubic units. So we're going to find the volume. Remember, volume equals length times width times height. And it doesn't matter the order because we're multiplying them all. So let's uh, just find all the dimensions. Let's find the side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. There's 8. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There's 5. And then 1, 2, 3, 4. So I'm going to do the base first, 4 times 5. Okay. Um, it doesn't matter the order. And then I'm going to multiply by 8. Uh, number of cubes is just basically the answer. So I'm going to do 4 times 5 is 5 first. That's 20. And then 20 times 8 is the same thing as 2 times 8 times 10. So 2 times 8 is 16 times 10 is 160 cubes. All right, let's do the next one. Number 6. Uh, let's find the dimensions. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, I'm going to do the base first, seven times six. And I'm going to multiply by the height. There's my expression. Um, I think when I'm solving this, I think I'm going to do seven times six first, 42. And I'm going to multiply by three. And I'm thinking 40 times three, and then I'll do two times three, and I'll put those together. Okay, so 40 times three is... Um, so I'm going to do, I'm gonna, I'll show my work up here. 40 times 3 plus uh, four, 2 times 3. So I have a total of 42 threes, right? 40 threes and then 2 threes. So this is 120 and this is 6. So I think my answer is 126. All right, you ready? Let's keep going. Challenge. Do I have time for the challenge? I do. All right, let's keep going. I'll, I'll work through the challenge with you. Chloe is sorting items at a thrift store. She finds a box of tiny blocks that has 1,344 written on the outside. She can see that each layer in the box has 64 blocks. So I want to know how many times 64 goes into 1,344. How are we going to do that? And I'm not going to use long division. I'm going to use some multiplication stuff to help me out. Um, I know that each layer, I'm going to use, I'm going to make a table. What do you think? Um, all right. 
I'm going to say that one layer is 64. Um, 10 layers is 640. I need 1,340. So I'm going to do um, 20 layers. Um, 600, 600, 1,200, 1,280. Oh, I'm really close right now. All right, I need to get to 1,344. So I might just... Let's just try and combine those 1,280 um, plus 64. 441, four, I think I found it. There it is. So 21 is 1,344. There's my answer, 21 layers. Okay. Was another way that Chloe could arrange the 1,000 uh, 344 blocks to fit in a different box. How is she going to do that? What do you guys think? I need to put, I need to put those numbers into there. What, do you, what are we going to do? I'm still thinking. So I need was another way that Chloe could arrange 1,344 blocks to fit in a different box. Hmm. I think, so I'm looking at, uh, I've looked at this a little bit, and I think I need three numbers, right? So I need to figure out how many are going to be in a layer, and then I got to figure out how many layers there are. So I guess I could do, I could half it, right? So I could say, that'd be a weird box. Well, we could do it. I mean, it'd be a funky box. But um, I could say two by two by, I gotta figure that out, right? So I'm gonna have 1,344, and I'm dividing by two. Oh, let me see. Half of that. What's half of 344? Um, 150, 172. So I think that's 672 right here. But then I need half of that. Oh my gosh, this is a hard one. And I don't even know, I'm not super confident in, in how I'm approaching this. I want a, a base, I need the base, and I need how many layers there are. So I guess, let's figure this out, okay? So half of 672 is 300, 335, 336. 336. Um, if I wanted to do, um, how much time do I have left? I got a little bit of time. If I wanted to do blocks in layer, let me see, um, blocks in a layer, so I want to do that, okay? And I want to do times layers. And then I can do that a little differently. So I could do like, mm, let me see the numbers I'm working with, 64. <clears throat> um, I could use something like, I know that, oh, here we go, let's do this. Do I have time for this? Let's change this, I think I do. If I know that 21 times 64, haha. <laughs> Maybe you guys already saw this. I could double and half this, right? So I could uh, double this and I could half this. So that's 32 and that's 42. So there's one. I could go 42, oops, sorry, I'm too low on the paper. Um, 42 by 32. Maybe that's what they're looking for. I found three dimensions in my first one, but maybe they're just looking for blocks and a layer and how many layers. I could have and double that too again, and that can give me another one. All right, everybody, I hope you, if you have any questions still, please bring them in and ask me. I'd love to work with you. Um, all right, I hope you were able to find this useful. All right, see you guys later.